action. I arranged, says Stefan, the Serb, Montenegrin, folk song, in the style of the American country gospel music, my favorite folk music. Upbringing was in the spirit of the tribes and clans of Montenegro. That spirit has never left my heart. There are many topics, says Stefan, burning in my heart, regarding my old homeland, Yugoslavia. If you care to read about them, or to listen to about them, you can do that in what follows. United States of Yugoslavia. You may laugh, now, but, who laughs last, laughs best. I am confident, says Stefan that in the future, the Slavic ethnicities, and the minorities, in the lands of Yugoslavia, will unite again, into one nation, one passport. Yugoslav passport. As the model of unity, the model of the USA, would be an excellent choice. And the name, the United States of Yugoslavia would be, an excellent choice, as well. You may laugh, 
now, but, who laughs last, laughs best. If I were younger, says Stefan, I would dedicate all my life to the unity of the Slavic ethnicities and the minorities in the lands of Yugoslavia. Montenegro, says Stefan, is the land of the free, the land of the tribes and clans. The tribes and clans of Montenegro are the torches of light across that tiny land. Montenegrins are open-minded and open-hearted people. But, you do not want to say something derogatory about their tribes or clans, even in the best of your faiths. The moral code of Montenegro of old, says Stefan, the code of honor and heroism, demands equal respect for all the tribes and clans of Montenegro and for all the ethnicities, religions, and races of the world. Marko Popovic says that honor is when you protect others from yourself and heroism when you protect yourself from others. There is no such a thing in Montenegro, says Stefan, as the best tribe, or clan, or brotherhood, or family. Montenegro of old was the place of the European moral aristocracy. Lord Tennyson referred to the Montenegrins as the mighty race of the mountaineers. If you are visiting Montenegro, says Stefan, you may want to refer to yourself as a temporary Montenegrin. The Montenegrins will love it, and they will treat you like their very own. That is a big deal. Nagish, the Prince Bishop of Montenegro, says Stefan, and Marko Popovich, the Duke of Montenegro, had been the fighters for the unity of the Slavic ethnicities in the lands of Yugoslavia and for the unity of the Slavic peoples in general contributing to the pan-Slavism movement of the 19th century. Here is what Stefan says about the identity of a human being. If you care to read about it, you can do that in what follows. The end for now.